guys, it's Mr. Awesome here, and today we're going to be fixing the, um, well, not fixing, working the thing now. So, <coughs> for the sake of time, I prepared up some um, uranium cells, and we're going to need, like, a whole chest full. But that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 times 6 is 54. You actually need 47, because that's how much you can put in here, but, um, how many do I have so far? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 36. Okay, so, um, in here you have to have, so, um, I know there are a lot of videos, I just realized now that, um, have water cells, coolant cells instead of ice, but I use ice, either one works, but, okay, so, when you're putting in uranium cells with ice, you need to leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of ice still in here, these four, seven blocks, I mean these seven stacks of ice, because if you take them out, they'll explode. Blue. So you have to keep these in. If you only have one stack, it's going to be too too fast. So keep these seven stacks in, and you can get rid of the rest. And we're just going to do that now. And we're going to take these out. And of course, we're going to need more, but for now. And make sure this is on the redstone's current, because you don't want this to start working right now. Otherwise, it would probably explode. Well, it would make energy. And first of all, um, if you guys do not know, I put the 4x4 four four cables in. Okay, um, I put these in if you guys didn't know because for the sake of time, I didn't want to see, I didn't want you guys to see me do that. You need this, the 4 times insulated HB cables because otherwise it would explode. So you need the 2 by the 2 times insulated HB cables with rubber. And to make that, you just need insulated HB cables with rubber. And to make that, you just need refined iron with rubber all around it. And it's very simple. You only need a maximum of three if you're going to make it like me. So one is right here. So you need one right here. You're going to need one above it because, I mean, depending on how you build your building, mine is like that, so we only need three. And it'll come up. <coughs> the block that I showed you right here, it's going to be right here attaches to the HV, I mean, MV transformer into an MF, MFE. Now, you can have an MFSU too, but I'm going to use an MFE. Um, now, I'm going to break this block for you guys to see. Right here, it comes, so these, this is one, this is two, and they're really fat, by the way, this is three. And if you guys are wondering why you can't place them, it's because these have to have all the blocks around it empty. And the, the way I did the one right here, the one up here, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's right, right there. And this is separate, oh shoot, did I just do that? Okay. So, let me show you right now. Since there's nothing around this block, you're able to place it right there. Can I? No. Oh, dang it. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh man, okay, so I'm probably gonna cut this out so I can fix it. Okay, so we put that right there, and we're gonna take this and throw the lights out. We're gonna put it like that, just on the block. There we go, and that's how it's gonna look like. And then we gotta get rid of this block, and you can't place it on the nuclear reactor, that's why I wrenched it. So. And these are really fast breakable, so just be careful. Just saying. Alright, now I all have the, all this ice loose around, so I'm going to put that away. Alright, let's put the uranium back in because I don't want to break anything. Alright, 
Alright, so um, I can't really show that because it's stuck up there, but just know that like you have to have all the blocks around it empty. That up down there, and if you guys do not know, the this thing is blocking it. But with HB transformers, I'm using a texture pack. But this side is the one hole. Once these is these are the exits. That's where energy leaves that the HB transformer, and the one with the three holes is the one where it enters through. And for the MFE, same thing. These small little holes mean that it's coming. The energy is coming into. Green means leaving. And that's the same thing with bat boxes and stuff. And there's only one way to leave, and you have to fix that. One way it leaves the place. Okay. Okay. Um. Now that we have that, we can start it up. And if it does blow up, then that sucks. But. Oh. Now first I can make a um oops. I can make a uh make more uranium cells. So in here we have one, two, three, four, nine, nine times four thirty-six. We need forty-seven maximum. So thirty-six plus um 11, yes, we need 11 more, so, let's see, we already have 2, so we can place 8 in there, 11, there we go, and how you make cells is you go to a com compressor, oh, I already have some, oh, I already have some, and then you just place one in and it'll compress into your refined, your refined uranium, put that back in, now to craft it, you just have to put it in the same thing like that, and you get your EM cell. And the reason why I'm not shift clicking is because it's going to fill my inventory, and then I'm not going to have space to put that stuff back in. So I always like to do it slowly, so that I always have two spots left for those. Okay, how, how much do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, who cares if we have extra? Okay, now let's go make the reactor. Okay, so just to be safe, I'm gonna box myself in so that if it does blow up, I don't. I mean, I mean, I could die, but I it won't affect anything else. Let's put that in there. All right. So first test. We're gonna click it open and we're gonna replace a block with it to see what happens. Alright, you'll know it's starting when it's green bar, so so far it hasn't done anything yet because I have it off. Let's turn it on. Pray for the best. Ooh, and it's not turning on for some reason. What? It's not turning on. There we go. Now it's on. And as you can see the health bar is going down right here. So, since it's going down, let's keep placing more. And we gotta be really slow, because if we don't, it's gonna start exploding. And this is the signal monitor thing, so once it reaches 500, this thing, it'll send out a signal and shut this thing off. And that's what we need. And as you can see, the ice is slowly depleting. And that means it's cooling down the nuclear reactor, and that's what we want. Right, let's keep going. And the more you put in, the more energy is going to power out. So let's see if I can get out here. Now we got to be really careful. If you guys don't have the same setup that I have with the three condensers, it will probably explode. So you might want to go slow at the first. Alright, let's see if we're getting energy from here. If not, then I know it's the wrong hole. 
one because it, if you guys do not know, yep, there we go. It makes a hundred, no, two thousand and forty EU per tick, meaning that energy EU is the energy measure. So um, I don't know what it actually stands for, but it, I know it means energy. And we're still good. It's still really cool because of the ice. But if the ice some some reason stops, then we have the thermal monitor in the back up. There we go, and we're getting a lot of ice blocks out, which is good. I mean, it's keeping a really cool system. And the more you put in, the faster this is going to go. And yes, if the cells do deplete, you might have to um, put in more. But there's another way to get uranium cells. If we look up uranium, there's this re-enriched uranium cells, which means... Um, oh, it doesn't say... What? I don't get this. Alright, well, you're probably going to have to craft more once this gets depleted, so. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you could make a reproductive system, like, I mean, like a well-automated system. I don't know what to call it. But, um, you could do that. Yes, you could. So, I mean, you could have, like, filters or whatever pulling it out and into a chest or whatever if they're depleted. And you can bring it back into here, you know, once it's full. There's just different ways to do it, but I'm not doing it yet. Okay, so now that we have all this extra ice, I'm going to put it in here. Because I don't want to have to do anything with it. And I'm sorry, you guys, for the lag. The server right now is, is like, really slow, so can't do anything about it. Alright, well... You guys don't want to shift click because if you shift click the ice out, it will be this ice will start going back into it again, and we're not going to get it out. So just replace each ice with uranium cell, like I'm doing right now. And if you guys want to do it really fast, don't just remember you need to keep seven stacks of ice still in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep that there all the time. Because if you don't, the thing won't be able to keep up and it will explode. And if you're doing this on a survival world, like your own world, you should be careful. On a server, it, it takes a lot of um, memory up. So, it's okay for this. I mean, usually on your survival world, it's going to lag really bad. Much worse than I'm lagging now, but that's not because of the reactor. Typically, if you have a strong computer, your your, your reactors aren't going to make it slow down or whatever. Right, almost done. Whoa, 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 lag. Dang it, stop lagging. It keeps resetting whatever I do. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it just did. Alright, that's enough. There, now we have to remember to keep these seven free so that it does not explode. And if you can see right now, all of it is going down by one. So that's why we have this system back here to keep it cool. Alright, so, like, so, I don't know if you guys remember, at the beginning we had 14, and I told you we only need 11, and that's why we have 3 extras right now. Otherwise, if you made 11 instead of 14 when we when I showed you, then you should have no extras, and it should be really fine. Alright, there we go. We have our full, well-automated nuclear reactor system. And if it ever does get too strong, I mean too 
what do we call it? This thing will shut off. It, it will send the redstone signal to here. This will flip down, and everything will stop. But since we have that really fast system, this should always stay at 64. If it goes down to 62, it should refill all of it since they're sending a lot of stacks every second. And if you guys did what I told you and made the overflow system, if there's too much ice coming in, it'll go that way up to the condenser. Let me fly up there. Let me see what's happening. It's like a jam up there, so that's why mine isn't coming up there. Oh, the server is lagging. There we go. And um, you guys shouldn't probably put this down first of all. You should put it after the nuclear reactor starts because then this will happen. And as you can see, it's not slowly filling. I mean, it's not quickly filling up because the ice. Oh, here we go. Here's this. The overflow. Yeah. So. I mean, you might want to do smaller chests, I mean, condensers. Oh, sweet, I still have more. Alright, since, ha since I have so many condensers, I'm just going to make this easier on myself. So here are my condensers. Let's place one right there. One right here. Oh gosh, hopefully it won't flow too fast because I don't want too much. Um, let's see. What can we put in there? Oh gosh, it's filling up fast. Uh, I need an idea. Um, no, I did, but it's filling up so fast. I don't have anything. I don't have coal. No, oh, you know what? Screw this. I'm putting a diamond in there. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Alright, so as you can see, it's not filling up fast, so that's why you shouldn't do it. But eventually, it will fill up very fast. And it won't come into this one until that one is filled. So I might just have a filter or something pulling out the stuff if, if it does make it fast enough. And let's see our MFB here. As you guys can see, it's full with power, which is amazing. Uh, all right we're gonna come up here to our factory and this video is pretty long now and that's basically how you start a nuclear reactor and since I'm far farther away from it now you guys can see it's a bit less laggy and I'm still lagging from the server but that's still really bad so I'm trying to look for maybe uh, what What is in here? I'm trying to look for one with MFEs because, as I showed before, it is very fast. Now that we have our MFE full, though, I'm going to go and shut it off because I don't want to use it all up. So let's go ahead and do that. Jeez, come on! So laggy. What? Come on, stop lagging me. Alright, you know what? I have to walk with you. Sorry, more than sound in the background, my brother's watching. Alright, I should have like an iron door or something. No! What? Oh my gosh. You know what? You know what? I have to. Wow, it's not even TP. Okay, yeah, here we go.
Alright, now we're gonna. Now you guys have enough power, you lock in here and shut this off. Come on, any day now. There we go. The red zone's on, and that means that this has stopped working. And as you can see, the uranium cells are no longer going down. And, oh, going up, actually. If you guys do not know, the, the numbers of them go up, not down. And if it goes up to like a thousand, I think, then they will be completely depleted. I don't know, I've never done this before. And if you ever want energy, you can flip it back on, but since we don't have efficient um, MFVs or storage powers, then we're not going to do that now. And so that was a very simple tutorial on how to work a nuclear reactor, and it took three parts, but we finished it. Um, and that'll be it for this time. Next time, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, maybe we should work on blue power, should we? Oh, yes, that's right. Sorting machines. Yes, we're going to sort our star tower up here. I don't know if you guys saw it yet, but I made a few uh, adjustments to the tower. So if you guys still remember from the first episode, it was like one tower, and now it's like... No, basically, I'll just show it to you and you guys next time. And that'll be it. So, peace out. That's how it works. Oops. No.